Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Bob Wall Show. On The Bob Wall Show, we talk business, St. Louis, and real estate. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on The Bob Wall Show. On The Bob Wall Show, we talk business, St. Louis, and real estate. I'm excited because we have Brian Gator with Collar Burr Home Loans with us again today. And we're going to discuss uh, first-time home buyer programs that uh, we're going to discuss uh, programs that are good for first-time home buyers to know. Yeah. So um, to start off, I know there's several programs to choose from. Um, maybe to start off, we just talk about some of the different types of loans available. Okay. And things that they offer. Yeah, uh, so probably the, the four main types of loans are going to be FHA, conventional, VA for veterans, and USDA. That's usually more for rural areas. Okay. So a big comparison is usually the FHA versus the conventional. I'm not going to get into it really in depth here because we're focusing more on first time, but right. the main difference is FHA is normally thought of as more for people with lower credit scores, people who want to have a lower down payment, people who may be in their home for a shorter amount of time and then they're going to move on because the FHA is considered an assumable loan, which means the next person, if they qualify, can use that same interest rate that you have on your loan. Okay. Um, the drawback to the FHA is you have more mortgage insurance. So private mortgage insurance or PMI, you've probably heard it called. There's going to be an upfront mortgage insurance. It's 1.75% of your loan amount that you pay at the beginning. And then you also have your monthly mortgage insurance that just goes on and on. Okay. Okay. The conventional loan, you're going to have much less mortgage insurance. It's much more based on your credit score. So the higher your credit score, the lower your mortgage insurance, and it can fall off in the end. Okay. Okay. In USDA, um, I know we had that noted as well. I don't really deal with that loan as much, but it's definitely worth mentioning and letting people yeah. know about the options. So I'll have you talk about that a little bit. USDA is a great loan if you're in a rural area and you have to qualify. So if you're looking for a house, we have to see if it's in a USDA approved area. It's a no down payment loan. It's got lower closing costs, usually has really good interest rates. So there's a lot of benefits to that USDA if you can get it qualified in an area that's gonna let you use that. Okay, cool. Now, um, several different types of loans for first time home buyers to choose from. One thing we haven't talked about yet is different types of uh, help financially the state or government can provide um, regarding grants and whatever other sources. I'll be talking about that a little bit. So there's so. some great programs out there that people don't realize are there. Um, a couple of them I'll touch on today that are probably the more prominent ones and people don't know that much about are what they call Home Ready and MHDC. Okay. So Home Ready is a program, it's going to be a conventional loan. It's only 3% down payment, so that's really nice. Uh, your mortgage insurance is going to be based on your credit score. The nice thing about it is you can go up to $74,500 in income on this. So it's a first time home buyer program, but it's not just for people with, okay. the, with the really lower incomes. It's made for anybody who's first time home buyer that wants to take advantage of it. You, it's another program where you have to figure out where you're at, right? Because depending on where you're trying to buy, some of the places don't even have an income limit at all. Okay. So you can make half a million dollars and still qualify for this as a first time home buyer. So that's a really nice um, feature of this. So if someone's looking into that and they don't want to get into that FHA loan and they want to take advantage of having a conventional loan but still have a low down payment, Home Ready is a, a great way to go on that. Okay, and um, I know we had note on Home Possible. Is that related to the Home Ready? Home Possible and Home Ready are very similar. Okay, okay. I mean, it's apples to apples on those, really. Okay, okay. Home Ready is normally what people will go with. Okay, but it's pretty similar in yeah, different types very of similar. programs. Just okay. a very, some few unique situations you'd go with Home Possible for, for the most part. Almost everyone's going to qualify for Home Ready if they qualify for both. Okay, and then the Missouri Housing Development Commission. 
Yep, so that's what is they... Is that the one that you just yep, mentioned is going to be changing? MHDC. Perfect timing to cover it, then. Yeah, actually, okay. uh, October 1st, they're changing this loan. So the way this loan works, it's a state-backed government program where they help you with your down payment. Mm -hmm. So if someone wants to buy a loan, they qualify credit-wise, but they just don't have the money for the down payment, they will actually give them up to 4% of their down payment it's actually a forgivable loan. Okay. So the way it used to work was over the course of the first five years, it was forgivable. So what that meant is after five years, you don't have to pay that back. It's just a program that they, they give you the money and if you stay in your house for five years, you just basically get a free down payment. Oh, It's nice. kind of cool. Okay. The way it's gonna work after October 1st is it's a 10 year program. The first five years, any time in that first five years, if you leave the house, you have to pay back the full amount that they gave you. Okay. If you refinance your house, you have to pay back the full amount they gave you. Starting in year six through 10, it'll start prorating down. So it'll be 80%, then 60%, 40%, 20%. After 10 years, it'll be just like the current one. They've just doubled the length of time. So. It's still a great program, especially if you're planning on staying in your house, mm -hmm. because you're basically getting 4% down payment for free if you stay in your house for that long. So anybody who's planning to be there a long time, it's also income specific, but it's again, up to 74,500 to qualify for it. So okay. it's a great program, if you're, especially if you're a first time buyer and you're planning on staying in that same house for a long time. It's a great way to use that benefit that a lot of people don't know about. And that frees up your money for other things. So if you want to put that other money towards closing costs or if you just want to buy some new furniture that you didn't yeah. want to use your down payment money for, or just put a nest egg in there because we all know when you have a house, things come up that you have to pay for. So it's kind of a neat way to keep your, keep your cash liquid that way. Yeah, for sure. Now, I do have a question that just popped in my head. I have a, a client looking for a condo. They qualify for the V8 for a uh, FHA loan. Okay. They kind of have to have an FHA loan to be able to purchase a property, I guess, um, based on their personal circumstances. Uh, they he also wants a condo. Problem is, it's hard finding condos that are FHA approved, at least in some of the areas he's looking at. Right. Instead of a FHA loan, is there any stipulations? Uh, as far as like the home ready options programs, if he qualifies for that, um, is there anything that that program is restrictive on with condos as no. far as the financials of it and that sort of thing? We actually yeah. just used this program a couple months ago with one of my clients who was going to do FHA and they wanted to get into a condo and not to get into the, right. in the weeds on that, right. but when you're in a condo, situation you've got to have a certain amount of ownership it's personal ownership versus renting or FHA yeah. won't let you do the loan so I'm sure that's what you're talking about yes yeah so that's what we had and we ended up going with home ready on this okay okay so, well it's a great um, program for that maybe we could talk some more about that but that's uh, something that's good to know for sure because there are some people that just they have to use the FHA to be able to purchase so um, but what we can talk more about that. But is um, anything else you'd like to add? That's a lot of really good information that's going to help first time home buyers. Is there anything we missed? No, I think that's it. Okay. Um, just make sure you talk to your lender when you're looking at these different loans because depending on credit scores and different things, it may be more beneficial to go one way or the other based on the amount of mortgage insurance you're going to have to pay. So just make sure you're real careful and have them look at both the loans for you because it. It's not the same situation for everybody. Everybody's unique, so that's just something to be cognizant of. Great, great. And if anyone has any questions, how can they reach you if they'd like to ask you some questions? So you can call me direct. It's Brian Gator, G-A-T-E-R, 636-373-4994. Or it's brian.gator at caliberhomeloans.com. Or you can find me on Facebook or LinkedIn. Okay, well, great. Well. Thanks, Brian, for joining us. That Thanks concludes this week's episode. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us. I will... Goodbye for now, and we'll see you guys next week.